In this movie, we'll be taking a look at how to add the actual tick marks to divide up the gauge graphic into 20% sectors. Now, the 20% means that we're going to need five different sectors for the graphic, right? So a perfect score is 100%, divide that by 20% equals five, right? So no calculator needed for that. Now, to find the angles of each of the sectors, we actually are going to need a calculator. So let me bring the calculator in here. So if we look at this, right, it's, a, it's essentially a semicircle, and we know that the base angle, right, is 180 degrees. So if we want to take that 180 degrees and then uh, show five different little, right, little sectors in there, we just want to make that a uh, quick calculation. So 180 divided by 5, which means 36, right? We need a 36-degree angle to kind of mark off each of the 20% chunks that we want to use here for the uh, for the scores. So a couple ways to go about that. Since we don't have the dynamic charts in here, we're actually right, we have to make this ourselves. So we have to actually come up with uh, those right measurements. One way to do it would be just to open up a chart in PowerPoint and add the uh, five different uh, sector, sectors in there and then just copy it and then kind of just drag over or kind of use that as a guide. Well. One way we can also do it is just by kind of doing it the old-fashioned way and working with some basic lines and uh, measurements in Storyline. Now, what's good about this is you actually get to see some of the rotation tools in action. So I'm going to work with this, uh, draw out a quick line just to set that, uh, that baseline right there, maybe make it a little bit lighter because I don't need to see, it doesn't need to be that strong. First line, right? Well, I'm going to actually make, to make sure it comes through, let's just go ahead and make it darker. What I want to do is actually duplicate this first one and then rotate it 36 degrees, right? 36 degrees for the first line, 72 for the second, uh, 108, I guess, for the next one. So hold down my control key, click and drag. And with that second line created, I can right click this line. Uh, bring it up here so you just so you see it. I want to choose format, format shape, actually size and position. And that's going to let me rotate that line right here, 36. Now I'm just going to press tab. I don't want to close this window. I'm going to use this uh, for a while. But there's my 36 degrees right there. I actually had that one pretty close. With this second one, with this uh, 36 degree line, I'm just going to hold my control key and Click and drag, and this time I'm going to change the rotation to 72, and that gives me my first, my second chunk, right? So right in here is going to be uh, the 20%, 40%, and the next one. And actually, you don't even need to use this anymore, right? Let's say you don't know um, 36 times 3 or 36 times 4. Well, we can just take these two, duplicate them, come up here to the format, choose Rotate, flip horizontal, and that's going to give me the same uh, measurements. Now, what I do need to do is actually group all of these and then align them, because right now, uh, based on where they're intersecting, uh, we're going to have a little irregular uh, segments here. So I'm going to come up here, and I just want to shift-click each of my lines. So line 5 down to line 1, and let's also align these. So align center and align middle. I actually didn't mean to do that. Align center and align middle. Now with them like this, I'm going to group them. So control G to group. And now what I can do if I get in here is I can use them to position right over my bottom graphic. So because this is in the center, zoom all the way in. And if I wanted to, let me turn that off real quick. So I can see that the line in the circle is going around the, the resize handles right there. So it's just a kind of a, a, a way to get the actual sections or sectors uh, marked off so that we can see them. A couple things I'm going to do real quick, though, is I'm going to rename this. I'm going to call this guides, and then I'm going to move it all the way to the back. I don't need it on top of everything. So guides, and let's just drag this to the back, and then I'm going to also lock it so I don't keep interacting with it. 
So that's a pretty easy way to do it. You can see now where we just have to resize, right, our arc to each of those areas. And then, of course, we'll get rid of the guides when we're, when we're finished with it. And we'll go ahead and begin creating each of those arcs in the next movie.